exchangefamilia.com. With me today is a dream marketer, a marketer with a very big brand name and a even bigger budget. <laughs> Arnab, welcome. He he just announced his his budget this year has become bigger. So we are very excited about it, and a lot of people want to chase you. Good, you are not in India right now. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Nazia. Very happy to be here. And, uh, so, Arnab, uh, starting with uh, with what you announced recently, uh, that uh, you've made an unprecedented announcement about boosting your marketing in, uh, investments in the second half of the year. So, what I wanted to understand is that is this uh, solely related to World Cup, or uh, there are other factors to it as well? Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, first I think we need to understand that uh, the business of the Coca-Cola company in India, in Inswa, India and Southwest Asia has been very strong. Um, it's been by far one of the fastest growing, you know, consumer staple, you know, companies out here uh, in this region. Um, and I think this company is all about brands. So investing in brand building, investing in, in high quality marketing, what programs and activation I think is very critical. So I think um, that's the first thing. So Good news, the business is doing well. When the business is doing well and when the ambition is pretty high, you have to keep investing in the marketing programs to ensure your brands also are healthy, your brands are strong, so that you can you can continue to have the consumer demand, you know, going ahead. The second piece, yes, I think World Cup has had an important role, you know, this year. Uh, but if the World Cup had not happened, we still would have invested heavily in the second half. I think we are we are very clear. And uh, for the last three years, we have been ensuring that uh, if you have to, you know, de-seasonalize the business that we are in, or at least reduce the seasonality, you have to invest in marketing uh, in the second half. World Cup helped a lot, but World Cup was not the only reason that we actually took up our investments. But it, it was good to have the World Cup. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I was... Going through uh, all that, you, you recently did a press conference in India and I was going through the content and I uh, read that, you know, you're, there are certain brands with which you are going uh, very heavy in the World Cup, like uh, Thumbs Up, Sprite, Limka Sports. And wherein uh, Coca-Cola was for, was promoted a lot during Durga Puja. So, you know, I understand you have target audiences and all, but I would want to un go deeper into the rationale behind it. Yeah, yeah, sure. So this is a part of the strategy which we have actually been doing for the last uh, almost more than two years right now. Um, Brand Coke earlier used to do a lot of things. You can't do everything. And especially after we had uh, an internal restructuring and all the organizational changes means for the good. All the individual brands and the categories have also a PNL to deliver. So Coke can't you know, take the load of everything. Earlier, Coke used to do everything, right? If you remember, music, cricket, uh, building occasions and everything. And then, yes, you had, you also had thumbs up. Um, based on all the studies that we did, based on all the targeting we did, we thought it was best for brand thumbs up to go exclusively on cricket. And that's what we've been doing for the last three years from now. Uh, it's not that Coke will not do once in a while especially if it's kind of linked to what the brand messaging is. But Thumbs Up is going to be our lead brand on cricket, right? So that's one. So I'm parking that. Limka Sport, you you mentioned, that's the brand extension, which we have been piloting for the last few months. Uh, we see a big potential for that as we start thinking as to what's the future of Limka, given all its history of, uh, you know, hydration, isotonics. That's a very strong space for Limka to go and own. And we thought that ICC World Cup would be a great opportunity, along with the Asian Games, where we are very active also with Neeraj Chopra and some of the other athletes. I think so. That's that's point number two. So um, Sprite is an interesting piece. I think Sprite is uh, actually a part of a you know global uh, program, what we call internally out here called real time marketing. So that's where we started off, and you guys would have seen. Uh, the banter between Shoy Bakhtar and, and Sachin and it went with all the other other people, you know, lots of influencers. So that's something which we are doing actually at a global level. And India was a part of the whole, I would say, global program. So you're seeing a lot of online and digital and social action on Sprite with the platform. So the global platform is Heat Happens. 
in india we call it khandra pakistan also is khandra by the way and that's why the banter was was very meaningful out there and um, um so it's a it's an experiment we'll see and again we have never invested so heavily on sprite in the second half okay sprite is a very seasonal you're not brand. giving any numbers no sprite is a sprites uh, across all the brands that we have sprite is the most seasonal of all right so it is the number two brand which you are familiar with after thumbs up it's no sprite. i'm i'm talking about budget like what, what investment see it's a it's a little bit mixed up because sprite a lot of the investment is happening from a global scale so that's helping us because you saw what's happening in pakistan little bit of investment is happening in australia so so the global team we all got together as a community and we said okay it's very interesting to use the icc world cup to go and activate that uh at the fifa world cup last time which we missed out and honestly uh sprite in china had done this program called yellow card and the whole thing was around heat happens so we all, we went and owned all the yellow card moments in a football game because that's a heated moment and it was a very interesting one you can actually google and and look through it so we said okay what could we do with the icc world cup and that's where the whole you know all that you see is happening um so those are the three things coke is basically been very clear we are going after uh, all the festivals right means wherever we are able to go and have an integrated plan with the bottlers that's very important for us um we clearly see uh, so we activated ganpati we have not spoken about it a lot okay but if you have actually seen what we did in in mumbai kok uh, it was one of the biggest activation we have done on ground in the ganpati program okay so that's a big one uh, then we went for durga puja not only in calcutta and bengal but in the whole eastern region so if you had gone to orissa if you had gone to assam so that was a good opportunity for us um to go and activate durga puja uh, and i we have also seen competition very active by the way and uh, you know that's that's probably the right thing to do with uh, you know this uh, these are big platforms for consumption and brand building um and then we'll obviously be we'll, we'll be doing something interesting around diwali so uh, uh it's again with it's going to be a diwali with again coke. Okay. with coke yeah yeah diwali is always you know been with coke i think the challenge with with diwali uh, nazia is that um with can as a system with all our bottlers can we go and activate both diwali and world cup slightly difficult right because managing all of this logistics supply chain integration plans with our key customers not that easy but we are going to activate absolutely we are going to be there and then we'll uh, end the year with a with a very interesting christmas campaign also which actually got released a couple of days ago you can actually see it's it's going to be a global campaign so we're going to be leveraging that something that you know diwali and christmas particularly for the northern india is winters so is the demand yeah. uh, similar uh, if you compare it to west and south you're asking, you're asking a very fundamental question as to why we invest in brands i think there are you are investing in marketing because there could be short term gains absolutely but you are also investing for building long term brand health which is very critical especially for categories like us um ensuring that we are staying relevant we are staying top of mind we are staying meaningful uh with all the right values uh it cannot be done at a short term level only so i think you need to find the right platform and the right opportunity and that's all you need to go through um we also activated navratri though i think you uh, obviously you have now seen what the song has done uh, it has ended up you know becoming, becoming it was a rage it i mean was, yeah it was it was meant to be so um uh, so navratri was obviously a part of the whole outside festival activation um and uh, when we released kalasi we knew very clearly that you know this would be one of the good you know platforms to go and activate the whole gujarati community around in india and around the world with the navratri you know platform and um, uh, i think we are very happy with uh, with everything that has happened out there also no it's it's abs- it's an absolute re- and especially on instagram every reel has that song you know i i was so tempted last week i just uh, went to uh, uh, switched on the subtitles to understand what it means because but the the tune is very addictive but i yeah, couldn't yeah. i'm not a gujarati i couldn't understand what the meaning was but then i was so addicted to the tune that i went and uh, and my 4 year old daughter loves it every <laughs> time played and she starts dancing so uh, you know another big change that sorry 
No, no, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. So another big change that uh, you brought in last year was to change your brand ambassador to bring in a new face. You brought in Shahrukh Khan, and of course Shahrukh Khan in, in himself is 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 a legend and a, has carries a lot of brand value. But it was not one of his best times, you know, when you got him on board. And uh, but things, I mean, I think Coke was also lucky for him. He he delivered two very big hits of his career again. And uh, so, wanting to understand, have, have has it already started giving you returns to have Shahrukh Khan on uh, board as your band, brand ambassador? And what was the rationale? Like, wh- why why bring in Shahrukh Khan suddenly? Yeah. Uh, means sometimes I I'll give answers which will not seem very strategic and all of this, but essentially we absolutely. were absolutely marketing is also yeah. sometimes driven by intuition, right? Correct. Correct. So if you go back, this mean almost two and a half years right now because we had our first campaign with him m- more than two years back uh, when we did this cinema hall, uh, you know, first campaign uh, with him. We were in a place where we had to, we were working on our next campaign after we activated the Olympics with Palad Day, which was phenomenally big for us. And um, we were looking as, okay, okay, what's next? What's the campaign? What we've always done with Thumbs Up. And unfortunately, we didn't have our brand ambassador. Uh, we we lost our existing brand ambassador at that point in time. So, uh, and we were, okay, who's there in the market? And it was a good time again to reset the brand and what the brand stands for and who's the personality. And to be honest, we approached Shahrukh. We didn't know whether he would be keen or not. And uh, what what happened at that point in time, we knew that it would it would be for the short term because he's always going to be big in India. He's always been King Khan, right? Um, we obviously then went in, spent a lot of time to understand from our consumers. And we, we, we keep doing that celebrity at understanding a lot across and it's important to understand out here a lot of this marketing community all of us um, uh, bandra south bombay gurgaon a lot of people came to me and south delhi they all came to me yeah i don't know all this and i, I urge people to go and spend time with youth in the heart of uttar pradesh go to bihar go to up go to rural maharashtra go to bengal go to orissa and we went to all of these places. And honestly, it was very clear to us. There was one guy and that was King Khan. And it was a no-brainer. There was Shah Rukh, and then there was everybody else. Um, I was out of India for a while. So I was a little not connected with what is going on. But I sat through all of these conversations with consumers. And it was very evident we had to go with him. And uh, he has been brilliant with us. I think I had... We had done a short stint with him in my last India stint. He had worked with KKR on Sprite, but I had never got a chance to work with him. Um, absolute pleasure to work with. Outstanding professional. Outstanding. Well, means one of the best we have in our whole roster. Uh, super creative and a complete gentleman. So um, very happy with our partnership so far. And um, I can tell you he's worked for us very well. Um, you know, thumbs up. The results are out there. Uh, what you're seeing. Uh, uh, we, we we became a billion dollar brand in 21. Then in 22, we had one of our best years, which we have spoken about. 23, we are having a very good momentum by far. I think it's uh, one of the fastest growing, you know, beverage and FMCG brands we have right now. Uh, so the numbers are there on the business side. The good thing is the numbers are also there on the brand health side. So it's not just you're having the ground business, but what's the future? And we clearly see that most of the long-term brand metrics are kind of moving up. Um, and that's, and, and I think... And if you may that's ask, the, how that's long the, is this contract? Like, it, it's a five-year, four-year we contract? Are an ongoing, we, are, we are an ongoing, ongoing contract. Okay. He's, he's going to be with us. Yeah, yeah. It's, okay. uh, see, I think most of the partnerships we do are also, you would have seen, um, are, they tend to be a little bit long-term because... You'll you'll need some time to understand what uh, what is the what is the value each of us you know bring to each other. And the good news was uh, when we had the first call with him, uh, we had no clue, by the way, that he was moving into completely action films. And he was thrilled because we shared the script. Resonated with him. well with with the change that he was also looking yeah yeah so it's and it was pure coincidence because many people might think oh we had all that thinking no we didn't have that we didn't know 
that he is going to move entirely into action because even if he's not doing action he's still a great you know person to to, to be there and he can pull off he can pull off anything pull off anything mm-hmm. so um uh, but it's great i think what what happened is he changed his person in, in the on screen which worked for us very well and uh, as i said uh, when i'm on kind of market visits to uh, some of the india b and c towns and these people are probably bigger consumers of indian advertising than what the as i said the cohort that we all operate in yeah, yeah. and uh, it's phenomenal so we are extremely happy with with what we have and and the partnership so uh, you know i happened to meet uh, navin last week uh, he is one uh, media agency head of the year yeah. at one of our events so i i was i told him that i'm speaking to you next week and uh, i thought i'll use it a conversation with him can can help yeah. me help in my research so he told me that there is an open x model that you're working uh, on and uh, although he he did not he said you have to understand it from and up what exactly yeah. Is that yeah so, so what is this open x model so i'll try to simplify it, i think without kind of getting caught into this uh, terms and stuff essentially marketing in the way we the the process of marketing in the way we have been operating for the last 20 years i think we're going through a complete transformation okay complete transformation mm-hmm. because if you go back and uh, the process was very simple you do consumer research you find insights you work what your business objectives are then you brief the agency the creative agency comes back with some creatives you go and produce them and then you work with the media agency of with 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 navin and his team and they find the right ways to connect with as many people based on your objectives right that's broadly in a very simple way i feel this whole thing is completely getting you know disrupted so so this is a trend that not only in india we are this is a part of the global transformation we are doing um worldwide and essentially where we see is that content and media and connections are all coming very close as the world moves into a world of digital space this whole linear thing what i just explained is irrelevant right so ideas for example needs to be very different from the way the ideas have been before so we talk about sprite real time marketing so okay. the people therefore the process of kind of getting these ideas how do you amplify these ideas and how do you you know have a always massive social push around all these ideas cannot be done with the existing agency structure so that's the whole transformation which we are doing with the, with working very closely with wpp who is our global partners out here so imagine a world where you have ogilvy you have uh, even other outside creative partners like uh, you know uh, like uh, jwt and another people they all come together s- sitting with our digital teams sitting with with navin's teams Okay. and then there is obviously assigned responsibilities where the okay. idea is coming from how the amplification is done now are we there yet not yet as i said there's a big transformation for us and for the creative agencies and for the mm-hmm. for the digital agencies and how they work together but as i said this is going to be the future of marketing in india so it's, and, it's uh, a kind of in house integration that you have done of all the agencies yeah, right yeah it's wpp obviously so wpp yeah. is going to be very involved in that but yes it is going to be more integrated as we but as this we this open x is specific to your brand right or there oh, no it's an internal name it's it's a it's a it's a, it's a wpp coca cola okay okay i thought i thought this is something an innovation no. that they've only done for you no no okay. no 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 it's an open x is a, yeah so it's a it's a internal brand name that we have for this whole process okay. so there is something called open x and something called studio x and we can yeah. talk about this at a later date i think it will be good to have you guys over and actually see what yeah, the future yeah, of it's is it's in gurgaon or uh... in, in in gurgaon yeah yeah sure sure so uh, you know uh, our, uh, i also wanted to speak to you about your decade long association with coke right uh me myself has... sorry M- me myself or yeah you've been associated with coca cola right for almost no this is my 23rd year nazia what decade yeah two decades two decades i think i wrote two decades i said a decade you look so young that you know i i i could not say two decades <laughs> so in these two decades that you've been associated with coke uh how have you seen the brand evolve 
I think it's interesting. How, and again, how's that twenty-three-year-old Coke different from the Coke from that India, came from India, right? From India, India, and 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 let's let's it's just talk about the brand. Yeah, yeah, but brand is very different right now. From see, my experience has uh, basically been in India for the first ten years, then in Southeast Asia, uh, Atlanta, and then there and was Atlanta. a gap, and you came back. So, how did the yeah. brand change? So, m- let me go back. To a, the I start the first three years that I was there in the company was the best years I've been, and we had we had uh, uh, Coke had just come. Coke had had come in ninety three. So started to really expand on the ground. So, Anup, uh, building on my previous question, how has you know working with Coke evolved you as a person? You know, as uh, how has it changed you? Yeah. So everybody asks me. I think a lot of people when they meet me for the first time is that why haven't you? How come you've been there for so many years? You know, and there so there are two answers. One is I am completely useless, which is absolutely <laughs> the answer because I'm not. I have not uh, you know even tried to step outside. Uh, uh, or like if my internal answer, it's been a uh, it's been a amazing you know fun ride. I think what Coke gives you is a couple of things. I do feel it's the best marketing company in the world by far because it gives all of us the breadth of doing multiple things around marketing, right? And so, as I said, after I worked in India, I worked on uh, heading the marketing program for the FIFA World Cup. Um, uh, that's my passion point. Since I was a kid, I grew up being a fan of Brazil. Okay. Which company gives you a chance to go and lead the marketing program for the World Cup happening in Brazil? I, like so, when when you when you think of these things, it's just been the experience which. So what more is experience. on the bucket list? Uh, I I again I I see myself as a marketer. I don't see myself kind of moving out of marketing. I think the other thing what Coke gives is you is a very strong horizontal experience around the world. Um, have had a good chance to work in some geographies. There are some geographies I would want to go and still work on. So uh, but which kind of would that be? You would yeah, want to talk about them? Yeah, no, some. I think uh, I I would I would love to work in in a in a market like, for example, I've I've never worked in a country like, you know, Japan, for example, or or Europe. But every time you even go and work in the global team, you get that experience. So I think, as I said, it's 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 very interesting. But but park that aside. The most exciting place to do marketing right now, Nazi, and I'm since I can. Speak I can tell this right now because I've been in this company and I'm seeing, I've been in the global team and I've seen what's happening. I'm connected with all my peers outside. There is no better place in the world to work and work in marketing than in India. Absolutely. This is, I think, there is a growth opportunity happening. We are going through the transformation so fast in terms of how marketing is evolving. The work that we are doing out here on the digital side and uh, again, when probably we, if you are interested on the Studio X, you can see the the high, the, the quality of the work um, that's happening. It's not possible to do that in many other uh, operating units, also as I speak. So, this is the place where so much action is happening. The consumer is improving. There is going also to be a lot of while, while digital is growing at a very fast pace in India. Television continues to be a very very important medium, right? So, uh, if I if I was to ask you about your media mix, mix here in India, so what is it like? You know, how much are you still? How important television is for a brand like Coke, even in these times when people are moving digital? It is going to change very fast. I can tell you that. Um, if you ask me, answer is I don't know how how long TV is going to play. It will have to be um, based on what our business objectives are. But I'll tell you from what I've been seeing the last one and a half years, the way you know the digital world is changing. It's 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 really really fast and rapid. The way content is is kind of moving ahead. The role of digital is going to become again very important. So TV will be there. Will TV go away? No, TV will not go away. For a mass brand with mass kind of distribution, I think the numbers are still going to be there for TV. The media mix is going to be changing very dramatically. Like I can I can tell you that, and you'll see a lot of innovation because I think one one thing I keep pushing I think uh, in most of these conversations understand digital is not putting your TV ads on YouTube. That's the f- 
single mistake a lot of fmcg brands today in india are doing and i think that's the one thing we are trying to change as to you you cannot play that game right now by putting nobody wants to see nobody wants to everybody is either skipping the ad or i don't know what they ad with irritation um you got to work with all the partners work with youtubes of the world but you have to change the kind of way you going to make your content and that's the exciting piece of the world in digital right now so lots to come there nasir anab one last question before i move to yeah maybe two if you allow me we can quickly do this one we are almost halfway mark we have just world cup we just left with another one month or 15 20 days how has it been uh, you know being the partner with the icc and the world cup on television and digital so have you found merit in it how has it been so far yeah if you've seen the campaign that we have been running is about sharuk you know speaking about india is going to win i don't know whether you've got a chance to see this i have seen all your campaigns all of all them the, have you seen the believer bot have you seen yeah, the yeah. believer bot i've seen yeah, yeah. So, all of so them so sharuk is so i honestly i don't know if what happens if india is going to lose but if, if india you know, wins then your campaign also wins <laughs> so so very good so far though the believer bot has been a little out of job because there is nobody is now questioning because we came in with again everybody we were asking the insight came from from consumers everybody wants india to win nobody was sure whether india is going to win and i think everybody has been blown away india is doing well is good for all Extremely of us really well yeah it puts it um so i think it's been uh, on as i said the business numbers are very good very good and i think uh, that's a function of many things i must also thank our bottling partners because how our bottling partners invest in the program they have invested a lot of money what you see in a lot of the retail execution on ground everything is done in partnership with the bottling partners and our bottling partners have been phenomenal you know partners on this one uh and i must really call out all of them as to how they've helped so very happy on the business side on the brand side i think on the social engagement from what we've seen very good the brand health numbers we'll know after some time um, but i feel very good i feel very positive with what we've been you know through so far and if india wins it's going to be really good again we all hope yeah, for it yeah for sure yeah <laughs> fingers crossed so uh, the, i also wanted to know if you have any focus markets uh, in this in the coming financial year you know up because you lead the entire south west asia i think the see all of them have independent roles if you break down india into multiple states it's very clearly we have clear market focus on every uh, brand has got three or four markets which are going to be very critical so i wouldn't want to say if any market is not in focus individually for individual all the brands and all of them are very big brands for us uh they are all having their individual plans which are, are going to be very important people f- forget that india every state is bigger than any country in europe by a big factor so um the opportunity is so big it will be unfair if i then say oh this is my only focus market i don't focus on this huge potential the biggest every state when you get into it the opportunity you see it's massive even in markets where per capita is high you then index it with what is happening in other countries it's a big opportunity so it's yeah thank you arnab uh, before i close uh, on my colleague's request i have a quick rapid fire uh, sure. to do uh, with you so uh, are you ready all said you yes. don't get any hamper i don't have a hamper to give you oh. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are not on coffee with garen we are maybe i can treat you with a coke <laughs> <laughs> so which is your favorite coke campaign and and this is across right from the beginning till now india or outside worldwide okay whichever like worldwide india your favorite india, coke campaign india india will be thanda matlab coca cola uh, especially the panch one i think it's still the most iconic piece of work that i've seen uh, with amir khan yeah your favorite coke drink like coke coca cola drink coca cola i have yeah i have two of them coke zero sugar and limka Okay, your favorite Coke Studio song? Hmm, it's a Coke Studio Bangla song called Bono Baby. Okay, your favorite Coke office? NK Towers in Gurgaon, 
that was our first office. That's where I joined as a management trainee, and somehow all the nice memories are still, you know, rooted in that office. And and you still have that office, or you've moved no, on to another building? We have, we have moved to One Horizon. So, okay. but Inkita was is where it all began. So, very good memories. How often do you drink Coke? Every day. Every day. It doesn't Every show. Day. I'm I'm a. Are you drinking sugar free? <laughs> No, I drink at least one. So I think the way it is, I um, I don't get Coke Zero many times, unfortunately. Uh, but it'll be either a Coke regular or or a Coke Zero every day, and it's been like that for the last twenty three years. Good. Thank you so much. Maybe I'll be, I'll also not stop my children as much as I used to after this conversation <laughs> from having Coke. It's, I mean, of course, it's not a hell drink. But it's very addictive. That's my one concern, you know, as a mother. It's so addictive. Even if it's in front of me, I can't resist. My 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 pitch to you is uh, uh, Coke once a week on a Friday with a nice, like every kids, for example. And we don't market to kids, so it's completely. We are very clear on that. After it's above age of twelve, and above age of twelve, you have a nice Friday with a pizza or. Uh, you know, nice meal out there. Uh, absolutely safe. Absolutely the best, the best thing to have. You know, if the if the teens are not going to be uh, forget about coke, the teens are not going to do anything, and they'll sit at home, and they won't play outside, and they won't have any active living. It's a big problem. Taking coke away from their lives is not going to change that. That's the thing. And I think as when we were growing up, and I've tried to maintain that I'm, I do play a sport every day. At least something, okay. and that's important for your kids also, all of us, to ensure that we have active living everywhere. That's going to be the big thing, uh, as like we keep saying. Arnab, thanks a lot for talking to us. We wish you a very good ROI on all the investments that you have made this year, and uh, very good results in the coming quarter. Thank you so much for talking to Exchange for Media. No, thank you so much, Nazi. I enjoyed. I enjoyed a lot. Thanks, Satan. Yeah. Thank you, Arnab. Thanks. You can log off now.